So this is elementary algebra, lesson 4.6, binomial squares and other special products. Now you've learned how to multiply um, two binomials together using the FOIL method. And that wasn't too bad, first outside, inside, last. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at that same FOIL method, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to look at something like this. X, the quantity x minus 5 squared. That equals x minus 5 times x minus 5 because it's squared. So if we use the FOIL method, first terms x squared, the outside x and negative 5, the inside x and negative 5, and the last negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. All right, we add those two together and we get x squared minus 10x plus 25. Now when you look at that, when you square a binomial like that, there's a little pattern here that we can see. All right, so first of all, we're just going to look at one of these, or just this one, okay, just the x minus 5. Notice, we take the first term and square it. We take the second term and square it. We take the middle term... Um, that we need here, because there's always three terms when you're doing the FOIL method. Um, this middle term is always going to be 2 times the product of each term, meaning x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Okay, that's a plus, and uh, this is a plus. So let's see what we've got here. x plus... 2 times negative 5 plus 25 and when we do that we can take away this plus and just have x minus 10x plus 25. Okay, so that was kind of quick. So let's uh, let's try another one here. Let's look at example 5 and uh, try that one. x plus 2 quantity squared. Take the first term, square it. Take the last term, square it plus, plus. Take both of these terms, stick them together, 2x, and multiply them by 2. So x plus 4x plus 4, and you be done. Okay, let's try 2x minus 3. Quantity squared. Take the first term, 2x. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Last term, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, plus, plus. Now we take this times this, don't forget the negative, so 2x times, times negative 3 is negative 6x, and again you multiply it by 2, just like I did up there. So I get 4x squared minus 12x, because these two multiply, plus 9. Okay, let's try one more here, and this will be example number 7. 5x minus 4, and we're going to square that. Alright, so again, square the first term, 25x squared. Square the second term, 16, plus plus, and we're looking for that middle term there. That middle term is going to be 5x times negative 4, and then times 2. So, 5x times negative 4 is negative 20x times 2, so that's going to be a negative 40x, and that, that positive can go away then. And that's what we get for that, 25x squared minus 40x plus 16. Okay. Now let's look at something else, and we're going to use the FOIL method. So remember on the last one we did this. Okay, let's do something a little different here. Let's multiply it instead of 2x minus 3, let's multiply it by 2x plus 3 and see what we get. So FOIL says first, so the first two terms, 4x squared, outside plus 6x inside 
minus 6x, and then last, negative 3 times positive 3. These two added up cancel each other out. A positive 6x minus 6x is 0, so we end up getting 4x squared minus 9. Okay? So, when you are multiplying two binomials together, and they're the exact same except the sign here and the sign here are opposites. All you have to do is multiply the last terms, multiply the first terms, and put a minus sign, and you're done. What you've done is you've done the opposite of the difference of two squares. The difference of two squares says if you've got a term here that you can take the square root of, a term here that you can take the square root of, and a negative sign, well, let's do that. We take the square root of the first term, we take the square root of the second term, and we put a minus, and we put the same numbers down here, and we put a plus. And we went right back to where we started. So if they give you this, square root of that, square root of that, written twice, one with a minus, one with a plus, you're done. If they give this to you, or this here, and tell you to multiply them, square that, square that, put a minus sign on it, and you'll have this answer right here, 4x squared minus 9. So it's a real quick and easy going back and forth. So let's try one real quick. Let's do x minus 5 times x plus 5. Okay, square the first term, square the last term, put a minus there, and you're done. That's all there is to it. 3x plus 1, doesn't matter if the plus comes first or second. Square the first term, square the second term, put a minus, you're done. Okay? So, pretty quick and easy. Alright, so let's just continue doing some of these practice ones. We're in the examples 11 through 15. Um, let's just look at 13. Uh, what do we have? 9a plus 1, 9a minus 1. Square the first term, 81a squared. Square the second term, put a minus. You can do these in your head. All right, what about 2x minus 5y times 2x plus 5y? Okay, square the first term, 4x squared. Square the second term, 25y squared. Put a minus there, and you're done. Okay, that's it. That is absolutely it for that. Um, I'm going to skip example 16, but that should be all you need for 4.6 in elementary algebra.